Hello and welcome back to another preview of the Medica Wall plugin. Um, it's been a few days now and I've been uh, working uh, quite uh, actively at trying to get this thing put together. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I've uh, been doing in the last few days. Um, but first of all, I just drew up a little foundation and a little floor platform here to throw some walls onto. Um, so this floor was drawn with the truss plugin and this of course was drawn with the foundation plugin. So uh, let's start here. Go ahead and select a wall. And I'm going to start with outside, outside corner. And mind you, I've got to uh, eventually get this uh, so that it will auto detect what type of corner to use. And that's my, actually my next push. But for now, I'm going to manually set those and turn on all the options. And you just go here to the corner and go to this next corner and you can see we've got ourselves a wall <coughs> and let's go ahead and hit this one and then we'll hit this one over here and there's our second wall okay so then to do the next wall because we don't have that auto corner configuration detect thing going yet uh, we gotta go here and set it to the inside out inset outside corner and another inset outside corner and we're not going to change anything up here for now, just keep it as it is. Um, and of course when you are selecting your walls, you don't select there, you actually go right to the corner of the previous wall. And then it'll draw it correctly. So I'll go here and get this one as well. Sorry, it's taking just a bit to put this together. Okay, so <coughs> so to start with, uh, we've got ourselves some walls. Um, I'm going to actually miss, uh, show you kind of here what we got. Here's the, my layers. I'll put this back here, this tray. <coughs> so if we turn off the uh, wall cladding and trim and sheathing, there's our wall sheathing. And there's our gypsum. Okay. So you can see we've got a nicely framed out structure with some insulation in there if we want. Um, and, you know, you can draw the windows and that with the cladding and everything turned on if you like. In fact, I'm going to just do that just to demonstrate that. <coughs> so let's go ahead and start with a window. Just keep all the defaults for now. And you can see instantly it pops up a little... And you can actually see the preview from, you know, backside, front side. It doesn't matter. What I like to do is, I, and I might eventually put some sort of grid here where you can snap to every six inches or every foot or something. That might be useful for some people. Um, I just like to kind of key my dimensions in because it's so much cleaner and quicker that way. So I want it five foot from the uh, center of the window to the uh, corner. And there's your w window. And then I go along here, and I'll, this is a 24-foot structure, and I want a 5-foot again, so I'm going to go type in 19 feet. And there's another window. And then here, let's go ahead and just center it up right on the corner or the end of the wall. And, you know, it's pretty easy to quickly throw some windows in here now. <coughs> and, of course, doors are coming next. Uh, that'll be here in just a couple days. So let's go ahead and throw some windows. I'm going to window this thing right out. Come on, give me the center there. There we go. Close enough. Okay. So you can see it's cutting um, holes and everything in all the sheathing and all the gypsum and all the cladding. Um, so we got our windows. One thing you'll notice, though, is um, this sheathing and cladding does not extend where we want it to extend. So what we can do is we can figure out what that distance is. Okay, we got 11 three quarters. Let's say we want to lap down another, uh, you know, let's say quarter inch just for, for the heck of it. So, <coughs> excuse me, uh, let's select this wall. And if we go uh, edit wall assembly, Let's bring our menu back over here. We had it on my other screen, sorry. And we're going to extend the wall sheathing and cladding by an offset. And that's this uh, little um, 
bottom and top. So the bottom, we want to bring that down 12 inches. Okay, now watch the model as we do this. And you can see it uh, overshot the bottom of the sole plate, or s and it dropped it down to where it needs to be. And of course, we could have set that offset, um, you know, while we were creating the walls. So that's something to think about as you're creating your walls. So to do this for the other walls, you know, we'd have to go ahead and, and open these other walls up. I'm not going to do it for all of them right now, but you, you get the idea. Um, and we go ahead and set that right there and update that. Okay. And, um, you know, so you can go in here and start fiddling with all the settings and resetting things and doing anything you want with these walls. Um, let me show you here, for instance, on this segment, this wall segment. Well, first of all, let's turn off our, um, all of the cladding and stuff that's so covering up all that framing that we want to take a look at. So let's turn off the wall cladding, turn off the sheathing, and turn off the gypsum. Okay, so, so you can see we got the full framed out structure here. Headers are there, seals are there, trimmers, king studs, uh, nailers, the California corners. You know, if you wanted to put another window in, no big deal. Just come along here, drop another window in. Heck, drop another one in there. Okay, so you can see it, it automatically will take care of uh, your blocking. I've got the blocking set as staggered. And um, I actually got double plates on the bottom of that wall. Let's, let's go ahead and change that up just for the heck of it here. So I'm going to go ahead and for some reason I had that setting. Okay, so let's change that to one plate on the bottom. Okay, and you can see that. And then let's say, you know, we want pink instead of yellow insulation. I mean, so all these things are, are editable. And some of them I am going to set up so that if you edit one of the, you know, one of these wall segments and it belongs to the same wall group right here, then it will propagate that change to all of the other segments that belong to that same wall group. And that can be useful for certain, you know, cer certain parameters. So we're going to look at that here shortly. But, um, you know, in a nutshell, I think we've got the wall or window uh, working fairly stably now. Uh, it took me a while to, of course, get the insulation and the blocking figured out. That was a whole other level of complexity as soon as I added windows. Um, of course, we need to now have the window edit menu for each one of these windows so you can go in and, and you know, change sizes and positions and all that. So that, that is next on the agenda. But I just wanted to show you kind of where, how far I've gotten. And, yeah, so it's looking pretty good. It's running fairly stable. Um, the next push is, of course, finish up the door, uh, adding doors, and then after that, it's all the other sub menus that go along with editing and changing, uh, you know, the geometry of the windows and doors. Trim is also another big push that I'm going to be working on next, and of course the uh, gable walls and shed walls, which will be part of the gable wall feature. But just as to uh, wrap this up, I'm going to go ahead and throw a roof on this thing. So let's go ahead and slip. I'm just going to leave everything default for the sake of time. And yeah, there you go. There's your roof. Now let's turn off the sh let's turn off the insulation so you can see um, you know kind of what the framing all looks like, just fully exposed. It's kind of cool actually. In fact, I actually do want to show you something. One other thing as well. Um, where is my insulation layer here? Uh, there we are. Okay, so there's that, and then let's turn off the uh, roof gutter and the cladding and the sheathing. So you know, there's your full framed-out structure. Now, let's say that you, you know, you don't want to work with this complex level right now. So, well, I mean, first of all, you can you can grab any of these wall segments all at once too, if you like and go 3D to 2D and that'll drop them right down okay and and I haven't really configured what I want these uh, 2D previews quite to look like yet but I've just kinda got something simple in there for now placeholder essentially and um, 
you know, and then let's go ahead and uh, bring that back up. <coughs> now, you can also go with kind of the blob method, as I call it. So if we edit the wall assembly, um, we can change this out to no wall framing. And hit update on that. And you can see that that um, just kind of shows a solid block of wall with the holes in it. Of course, you can turn on the sheathing and, and cladding and everything, and the gypsum. Um, so it's it's all there. It's all stored. It's just whether it's turned on or not. So ultimately, you know, you really can't see all the details in the wall anyway. So if you don't need to see them, then it might work quicker for you not to have to mess with them anyways. And let's turn this back up. Turn that one back up. So everything eventually, you know, should be editable and be robust and not uh, allow the user to fully, you know, change any particular setting on, on a wall segment and windows and doors um, without having to redraw it. That's that's the idea. Uh, let's take a look at. Um, just want to look at one last thing here. Again, all of these settings, you know, you can you can adjust wall heights and that sort of thing. At the moment, though, I don't have or I haven't come up with an idea yet on as far as wall heights. If you bump the wall height up, what does it do with the roof uh, assembly? Um, maybe I'll tie those two somehow together so that it will bump up the wall, you know, the the rafters or the framing that's sitting on top of the walls. So that's something else to think about. Some more integration with the pl uh, truss plugin. Um yeah, it's uh it's a work in progress. So anyways, I hope everything uh everything was clear to you and if you have any questions feel free to call me or email me at any time. I am working full time on this plugin for the next uh, couple weeks at least, maybe even for another month. Uh hopefully I can get it out here by the middle of May. Um uh, my hard deadline kind of is the middle of June, but I'm hoping to have it earlier than that. So I appreciate everybody's support, and I will keep plugging away at this guy. All right, thanks.